Hi, I'm Adam with Be Ready in San Marcos, California. One of the most basic needs people have when it comes to emergency preparedness is to be able to store food and water so it's preserved and portable in any type of emergency. Floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, storms, fires and earthquakes all have their own unique set of problems. To be prepared, you need a versatile, portable storage container. It can't be too big, too small, and it needs to be watertight. Also filled, it can't be too heavy to move and take with you if you need to evacuate. Customers have asked what the differences are between the water brick and the aqua brick. Two similar but different storage containers. The capacity of the water brick is three and a half gallons. The capacity of the aqua brick is three gallons. They are both the same dimensions, which is 18 by nine by six. They are both made out of high density polyethylene plastic and are BPA free. Great for use as water storage, food storage, or a dry storage container. Great for camping or emergency prepping. An essential part of any emergency preparedness plan. As I mentioned, it's important that you have a portable container to carry emergency water and food in. So how portable are these? The water brick you must carry by the handle. Full of water, it weighs about 30 pounds. All the weight is hanging down on one arm. Unless you body hug it, which is hard because you literally have to hug it. The aqua brick has two built-in handles. I personally really like the center handle because it lets the weight be more evenly dispersed. Also, it's easy for young women and children to carry because it keeps the gravity closer to their body for easy lifting. The water brick is constructed with two plastic-like tunnels going through the container, which makes it completely impossible to wash out besides just swishing cleaning detergent inside. Both containers have the same size opening. However, the aqua brick has no tunnels inside, making it easy for my female assistant to reach her whole arm inside. Both containers have a wide opening of three and a quarter inches, so it is easy to pour in. Sagan Life made a great funnel for the aqua brick, which just presses easily over the neck of the opening. This makes it super easy to pour foodstuffs like beans or whatever other food you may need. Now, I am going to pour some beans into both of these containers to show how easy it is to store food in them. While I have beans in the containers, I wanted to make note that you can actually see the beans through the walls of the water brick, whereas the aqua brick is completely opaque. This means that some UV light waves are getting through the walls of the water brick, so any food stored in the water brick may degrade more quickly. On the other hand, the aqua brick has no UV penetration at all. Now, let's see how easy it is to pour out the beans we just put in. The handle makes the water brick awkward to hold and pour. The shoulders of the container make it almost impossible to empty out all contents completely without desperately trying to shake it out. But with the aqua brick, it is very easy to hold the container by the front and middle handles, giving you good leverage so every last bean comes out almost immediately. Let's do the same thing this time, but with water. Once again, it is quite difficult to work around and hold the handle to lift the container and pour out the water. Notice how the water kind of glugs out? Also, can you see how it is virtually impossible to empty out the water brick completely? due to the raised shoulders which extend below the opening. Notice how the handle easily comes right off and dangles about. With the aqua brick, it is much easier to open without a handle in your way. You can hold both handles to pour out the water. However, it is also very easy to just hold onto the center handle since the weight is evenly dispersed. See how quick that is? A lot of people like to use these containers to take water or punch to a picnic or camping and want an easy way to dispense the drink inside. Both companies have a cap which has been adapted to fit a spigot. Both use the same spigot 
which has a vent in it so the liquid will dispense more easily. Let's compare the two. Both spigots are completely wide open. It looks like the flow is greater coming out of the aqua brick. That is due to the internal airway which promotes more natural airflow. Also, the position of the opening in the aqua brick is much lower, so there is more head pressure forcing the liquid out. Notice now the water level has dropped. The water brick is still struggling to get water out while the aqua brick has emptied its contents. The aqua brick empties out most of its water via the spigot, but it does have just a bit of water left once the spigot is done pouring. But it is pretty easy to get the rest of the content out of the aqua brick. No excess water in the unit and no shaking it to get it out. The water brick though makes it difficult to lift up because there really isn't a good way to grab hold of the container. It's hard to grasp properly, which makes it all the more difficult to remove the spigot and pour the water. You'll notice there is much more water left in the water brick after the water could no longer flow from the spigot. And once again it is impossible to get all the liquid out of the shoulder sections on the water brick. Let's say you have the spigot still on the aqua brick. You'll see it can be very easy to handle. The two built-in handles make it very easy to move, but the water brick's handle blocks the container from being picked up because the spigot on the cap obstructs your hand. It basically forces me to manhandle the whole container, often with both hands making it difficult to carry as intended. Another comparison I'd like to show is how durable these two are. I'm a really big guy and putting my whole weight on the water brick forces the unit to cave quite a bit. Both units are HDPE so they are pretty durable, but it seems the wall thickness is thinner on the water brick. The aqua brick manages to hold my weight much better, and even a little jumping barely puts a dent in it. As you can see, the difference is pretty striking. Another feature is that both containers easily stack and interlock together like Legos. I saved one of the best features of the aqua brick for last. The aqua brick container converts into one of the most effective, fast water purification systems available. The aqua brick water filtration system is perfect for family and groups. The tubing is connected underneath the cap there. Once you screw it back on, make sure you tighten it all the way. Then, give the air pump a bit of pressure, about 10 squeezes should do. And now you've got water instantly coming from the spigot. Fast, clean, pure water in seconds. Well, I've made my choice. Happy prepping, see you next time. <laughs>